So if we look on the map info, if I click on like Orocastro maybe, we're still very close to being, you know, in control of the area. The only reason the OSAF have more support is because of this thing, the radio tower. And the same's probably true down here. You got about 10% off. So I'm gonna go to the two towns close by here with my off-road. And we're gonna see just how big we can get the Daisy Chain V2. Of course, you know, exploiting the local police force while we're at it. Now, a couple of people did ask about me using AI in this playthrough. I only have 3 HR at the moment and about 450 in cash. And everything that I did have, I've spent on like building a fast travel network around the little area we're working in. The thing is, I don't have the funds at the moment to be able to start bringing like a team with me or anything. Purely because we're not generating any additional resources. Not the moment at least, we need to control more towns to do that. So until we've got these radio towers sorted out, until we do like a, a nighttime bombing mission to destroy the actual tower itself, so we can keep hold of these towns, that's not something we're going to be able to do. But we'll be able to manage it soon. And that could be the first victim for the daisy chain, I'm just concerned about it being a bit close to the outpost, so we're going to leave it for now. Okay, there's a tractor here. Little box car down there. But I've driven through the town twice now, and I can't find anybody. Like, not even any civs. So, well, supposedly there's a couple of people right there. And there's one, two civs here. I guess everybody just started spawning in. Yeah, they're crawling out of the woodwork now. Yeah, they are. Already taking fire from the outpost. I'm pretty sure that's what that was. Then again, there's supposedly someone in the woods. Oh, whatever. I don't see them. Let's just try and get a revive off of this guy who survived. Someone's sniping from up there. Yeah, I can see him just next to the, uh, the barrier there. There's a team of them. One in the forest firing at me, and there's one close by up here now, too. Okay, well, before I run out of time to do so... Let's go and tow one of the vehicles back here. Of course, the surf's gonna run underneath my car, because why wouldn't he? Really? So that's two aggression. Just because the AI is dumb. Whatever. We'll manage. Alright, this isn't so bad so far. Kind of glitchy, but... I think we're doing okay. Now I just need to get out of town so I can go into cover again. Hopefully before I make it near that outpost, of course, because that means that, uh... I'm basically driving straight into a gun line at this point. I might take that back road down there, just so I can get to a point where I can go undercover. Okay, it's possible to go undercover this far out. And look what else I found. I mean, obviously I'm gonna have to turn around before I can pick that up. But that kind of makes up for the one I'm not gonna be able to take back on the other road. And you may recognize this place as one of the bases I used in the original series. I was quite fond of this place, the only problem being that there was no cover here, and the AI would constantly shoot out of it at that outpost there. 
Okay, let's get parked up and get this thing tethered. Probably gonna have to move it a little bit closer. That'll do. Deploy ropes and attach. So we're up to four calls right now. Okay, now we've hit a snag. So four calls is too much. Yeah, it's just kind of dragging us to the side. Let's try and four times sim. God, look at that. Alright, this is an explosion waiting to happen, isn't it? Okay, well, experiment complete. Two cars tied onto the back of your lead vehicle is the maximum you're going to get. Well, you could get more, but you're not going to get anywhere. So that's one town down, one to go. Let's see if I can find any police in this area. Take them out just to uh, skew the support a bit. Then I'm going to go back to base, there's a couple. Grab those MVGs and explosive charge. And then we'll wait until night time. And go see what we can do about one of those radio towers. One down. Two down. I'm pretty sure I got the second guy anyway. Right, well that was all I could spot, and I'm sure the guys in the outpost are going to be on the way down soon as well, so... I'm going to dip out of there, go back down to base. Okay, so what I want to do here... MVGs, we'll take some of these. And in my bag... Let's see, what have we got? Couple demolition charges there. I was going to say let's save, but I apparently put one of those down. Sure, that works too. We'll save, and without blowing ourselves up, rest right hours. Okay, I think this'll do. This'll be dark enough. You know, once we're like, away from the outposts and stuff. This'll be sufficient. Because I don't think they actually have any lights in their outposts. I mean, of course, there's like the street lamps and stuff and the ones that we've put down, but still. Alright, I think we should leave the off-road here behind these trees. So that if we retreat in this direction, we at least have some cover if we get spotted. So I'm going to put a marker right here. Because I want to keep my waypoint right over the top of the tower. There's a break in the fence right here as well, that's convenient. No, there's not, never mind. So now we've just got to stay flat to the ground all the way up to the top of the tower here. Well, they haven't seen me. So I guess this is working. Oh, and there's that convoy that was set to leave, like, eight hours ago. And immediately completed itself. You know what, sure. I don't know what else I really expected, to be honest. Yeah, they're really not spotting me, are they? At daytime, we'd probably be under a hail of bullets right now. Let's see what kind of light level they have to work with. Okay, yeah, I wouldn't spot anybody either, to be honest. Pitch black. Yeah, but you keep moving. Just keep moving. Go on, go the other way. They're right on top of where I need to be. That's the thing we gotta take out. Okay, that kinda worried me when he started running there. In case he'd spotted me. There we go, turn around, that's it. He's looking straight at me. There's another one. P-90 
POW rescue. Is that down in uh, Jorge Castro? This isn't good. Well, at least I don't have to worry as much as I was doing previously. Considering they can get this close and not see me. You know what I mean? Can you all stop playing like Ring Around the Rosie with this thing and go somewhere else, please? Thank you. Please try your hardest not to come back, at least for a little bit. Now, do I be cheeky and go for the Arsenal box? Or do I play this serve? I think I should play it serve, shouldn't I? Alright, let's get these charges down. Oh my god. I was ready to spin around and start firing. Put that one down. Set on timer. Set on timer. Okay, extend that timer. Where's the other one? Oh no, okay. Let's just go. I was going to put them on um, minute timers, just in case I couldn't get away in time. Like if they shot me, I could just sit here on the respawn screen for a little bit. Okay. That's what we want to see. Perfect. So now this place is going to stop having influence over all of the towns in the area. So until they repair it, it's essentially worthless as an outpost. It's just a position. You see, they're on alert, but they don't actually know where I am. They probably don't even know I'm here. They're just on alert because somebody in their team died. Oh no, they're following me down. It's going to make this very difficult to get away, let alone get over that fence. Because i got to stand up to vault it. And what was I worried about? There's like a giant hole in this thing right here. So they seem to have calmed down a bit. Oh no, never mind. So I'm going to need to be quick here, otherwise I'm just going to get spread down. Or maybe they're just blind. And deaf. Oh well, that's fine, it works to my advantage. Alright, well that's one outpost down, so let's grab a couple more charges. There we go. Thankfully we've got plenty of these because of the, uh, the boxes we stole. So now we should be able to just fast travel down into Agios Constantinos. There we go. And now it's just as simple as taking a quick drive up to the sound post. This one's probably going to be a bit more difficult, because there's a fence all the way around the edge of where we need to be. Which means I've got to go right through the middle of the thing. And there might be quite a few lights up there, because there's a building. Unlike the other outpost. Yeah, they've got floodlights over there already. Which is going to make this a bit annoying. Plus, there's a little guard post out in front of the place. So what I might have to do is get out early. And crawl a couple hundred meters. Which isn't going to be the best, but let's have a quick look. Yeah, look at them all out the front. I get the feeling this is going to be a bit of a suicide job, so let's see if I can just drive straight through the front door. Uh, yes, it looks like I can. Now what they do over here, is they generally hide the tower inside another tower. 
so I'm going to get out back here. Near the deck. Oh, is there even a break in the fence around here? No. So I gotta go around this way. It's starting to get a bit brighter now as well. It's almost 4 a.m. It's bright enough that I can see without NVGs. I'm gonna keep them on for your sake. Oh, look, there's a break in the fence over here. Like right there. But anyway, the plan was to then take the off-road and drive down the back of the hill over here. And then come like around this way. Because there's an outpost there and there. So I won't be able to get out any other way. But yeah, this bit here is the actual tower, supposedly. Oh, hello. Nice of you to show up. Let's get these charges down. Alright, set a timer on them. Set a timer on them. Alright, let's go. We'll leave it 30 seconds this time. It should be more than sufficient. Ooh, hello. Damn, yeah, they spotted me, but we got the tower. So that's a pair of MVGs down, which is a real sham. But we did what we set out to do. So then if I click on this outpost here, you can see in the right radio cover, no. And then the same over here, radio cover, no. Which means that they can no longer control the area. So if I take some missions now, then whatever control I get from that, I'm going to keep hold of. So, city supplies. Buy myself an off-road. And now when I complete this, I will gain control of a town, most likely. And it will stay that way. Unfortunately, no weird firefighter objective going on up here to uh, keep everybody occupied, so full attention is going to be on us. But I'm sure we can manage. Well, that almost went very, very badly. Hopefully they're not going to come back. But hopefully they're going to drive very far away by the time that this box is done. Let's hop out here, deploy the box, and I'll take my usual haunt. Just wait for that thing to complete. <laughs> 